Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and we're back with another episode of One Punch Man episode 2 of season 2. Um, not a lot happened last episode, but not, at least not in terms of action. We did get some revelations in terms of um, who has been taking credit for all um, Saitama's feats so far. Um, and it appears to be King, um, who's uh, class S, rank 7. Um, and I, I guess, I mean, I still had some questions at the end of the last episode, if I remember correctly, in terms of exactly um, the flashback that they shown, it was a bit conflicting because they showed King as a child. But I think that that scene was separate from the, um, from, from the other scenes where Saitama was actually saving him. They were just showing him as a child that probably being picked on or targeting, uh, or targeted by some monster, right? Um, but I thought that, okay, he has been targeted since he was a child and he mentioned okay Saitama someone has been saving him conveniently but no um, it, it, um, he started taking credit around the time Saitama um, got his his ability his well yeah completed his training and, and got his powers and, and started um, to fight crime and he's just been in the right place at the right time and he hasn't denied it um, but they seem to have become good friends at the end of it though Satama, of course, doesn't really give a damn about any of that stuff. Um, well, he does and he doesn't, right? Um, uh, he, he really wants to be a hero, but here he has the guy who's basically been taking credit for his work all along, and he's not, he's not bothered in the slightest. He just wants to be friends and play games, and hey, who doesn't? Um, so we don't know that. Um, I, don't, I, I mean, King says he doesn't, he wants to resign from being a hero, but I think he enjoys the... the all the lavish and, and, and attention that comes with it to some extent. Because, um, uh, I, I mean, I don't see him rushing to, to give up his title or to, to, to let the Hero Association know that, okay, um, this is the guy who is responsible. But they do seem to be, seem to be catching on um, at the Hero Association. They, they, I mean, they've began to piece it, put the pieces together. I know they're not looking for Saitama because they've, uh, I guess in some ways they're starting to put together that he may be capable of more than they initially thought. Um, in a fight with Genos and, and another uh, uh, robot knight um, uh, who he defeated not so easily and used the parts to upgrade himself as well. Um, I, again, as I mentioned before, Genos is one of my favorite characters in the show, but I, I don't know how much more powerful he can get with his body. but. Um, it seems to be working. The more, uh, the more machines he fights with um, who are more capable than he is, um, the stronger he's able to get um, by bringing the parts to the doctor and having the doctor upgrade his body and, and he becomes stronger. So, um, so it, I'm still interested to see where his character goes. Um, Alright, so that's it. Let's check out episode 2 and see what is waiting for us. その話は本当なのか。ならず者たちが。救急職一名、永久三十八名、S.Q.十七名。明らかに不十分だ。引きずってならないな。殺しの数なら多めより多いんだぜ。試すか。前代未聞の災害レベル神がやってくるって分かって
ありえないだろう。先生は何やら忙しそうだし。俺が出るか。埼玉先生の知り合いか。お前どこかで会った。俺は音速のソニック。知らずも。それ以上。Because この先生きこれは。<笑> そのとし。誰よりやつ。そう、everyone さいたま先生、すみません。家の前で誇りを立ててしまって。お前、埼玉先生の弟子だ。弟子。エスキューの but then he wasn't see the one a lot faster. Uh, Sonic still has a slight edge. Yeah, I think he's on mattress P is concerned. That, that, that settles it. The hell just happened? Didn't go so well last time. Yep.戦闘技術だけなら間違いなくエスキュー。B級の埼玉に勝ち目はない。自信。マジ反復よく飛び。ああ。やったけど、無数の分身。俺より早かった。次こそ。私は一番になれなかった。ズン、体力、容量の良さ。この力士。タツマ。トネイドズ、ハイシスター。ファルウォーズ、サムリザンバンス、アンドシミラリティ、ビッドアビリティス。ああ。トネイドズ
rising through the ranks that there was some politics to it right um and that's basically what she's getting at to hear is that you you can't rise through the ranks by just being a good hero and just saving people um you have to rub shoulders with the right people and 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 you know in order to get there in her case a bit different because um uh well strength is still a factor and it seems as though she wants to surpass her elder sister who looks younger than she does weird um but she wants to surpass her older, her elder sister um uh, who is also who's um, uh, um esper but she i don't know she's not strong enough and i don't see how uh, I, don't, I don't know i don't see how she would be she would even with a group of class b heroes i don't see how that would help her to rise to the ranks um unless she uh, um, she's attempting to just kill her sister to get her out of the way and even then she still wouldn't be able to um she wouldn't be able to ascend to, to the highest rank which she seems to be the aim um so her agenda seems to be a bit pointless um but it does introduce an interesting um and an interesting fact into the story where okay there there it's it's more than just about um being a hero and saving people you and there's some other there's some other conflicts happening within the organization um so of course her attempts fail Saitama didn't join i don't think anyone was expecting him to join um, to join a faction um but I, I i'm guessing that she's gonna be one of those who stays i don't know hangs around Saitama just like Janus does in an attempt to find out what his secret is or in some way get him to help her um to, to rise to the ranks in some way um and she's seen where as jesus puts it he attracts strong people although i mean king is technically not strong he's just been taking credit and um genos i don't know in season one i mean they played up genos as this really strong character but at the same time i would argue that he lost the most battles in season one um with each monster that he fought whether it was with saitama or not he he lost or he was dismembered he was dismembered or in pieces by the end of it and and near death and had to be put back together so i don't know it, it, it's weird it, it's the, the series puts him in a weird position where they catapulted him to to class um to class s but it doesn't appear to be i don't know if it's earned right um he doesn't appear to be in line with the other class s heroes that we have seen so far um but um uh, and we, we got to see him showcase his new abilities with uh, against speed of sound sonic and i would argue that sonic is in terms of his level it, it would be class s and genus managed to not beat him again um not beat him but managed to hold his own with him for a while and uh, as he puts it saitama had saved genus from his final attack there um, so I, I'm hope I guess I'm hoping that at some point later on we'll get to see Genos have some victories because we really haven't. Um, last time he fought the Sea King, um, he he was obliterated by the end of it, and um, I don't know he, he, the rankings for Class S, the gap between um, Class S say rank one to two or two to three seems to be very um at times it seems to be very wide i don't know if it's the power scaling in the anime um or not but i um, mean it comes across as a huge gap right um so speed of sound sonic um uh, that time i beat him of course we we were all pretty much expecting that um i don't know if he's gonna be one of those that sticks around um to help saitama because he just wants to beat him um and maybe he will um you know if if only so he can keep challenging him since, since that seems to be um his priority right now is to be is to be saitama um i mean we finally got our introduction to um to garo um i i don't know i i mean i saw his image before um for, uh, for the um for the season and i immediately drew the comparison between him and um, silver fang um their their uniform and stuff look just looks um looks very similar and then i remember silver fang's story that he told satama about his pupil who um who went rogue and um i think killed his his other students 
and uh, he he's obviously much stronger than Silver Fang um, by the looks of things. Um, so we got our introduction to him. He seems to be on the side of the monsters, according to um, what he's he said. Um, I, I don't know why he would be why he took the call for the hero um, that they sent out the hero um, hero association. And maybe to showcase his abilities so they know he's a threat. Although you could just do that by I mean, going about and um, just destroying a city or something. Uh, but he says he's on the side of the monsters, so I guess he wants whatever threat it is that they're, prevent they're trying to prevent. He wants that to still happen. Uh, he mentioned heroes arriving late and monsters are always arriving first. I don't know. So I'm wondering if it's going to be one of those story arcs where... Um, he is no evil because um, his parents or some or someone um, died, and the heroes were never didn't arrive early enough to save them. I really hope they don't do that. Uh, honestly, I'd, I'd rather they have a generic bad guy rather than going that route. Um, but um, it was just interesting um, the way he phrased it. So it, it kind of felt like that may be what he's hinting at. Um, so we got his introduction, and as for what the Hero, hero um, Association is trying to do, it's, I don't know, it, I understand why, why they were doing it, but I don't see the logic behind hiring a bunch of criminals and expecting them to, to follow you to, um, he said he would pay them, fair enough, um, he said he would pay them, but at any given moment, these guys could just take the money and not help or stab you in the back or I don't know they, and they aren't even high level villains right and even if they were why would you have a meeting like that um, if, you, if you anticipate that they or if you were trying to attract the strongest of the strong um, villains and only have a few um, I think one was class A and one was class B heroes there to, um, to keep order Right for something like that, I would think that you'd need at least a few class S heroes. At the very least, um, because, um, I mean, last season demonstrated that the, the class S heroes don't exactly—they're not very cooperative. Right, they—they they only came that one time because that was because of the level of the threat that they were facing. Um, but this seems to be an even greater threat. So that would, I mean, that would be all the more reason for them to come and help to 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 get more allies, even if they are bad guys. Um, to to help them fight the fight to come. Um, but I mean, of course, that plan failed. I I, I don't know. I mean, it, I mean, One Punch Man is it's it's a pretty linear um it's pretty linear storytelling. So I'm not expecting anything intricate to, um in terms of the story to to happen. So I'm sure Garo at some point will cross paths with Satama and 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 they will face each other. Um. And I'm looking forward to just the battle alone. So we got some. We got. We finally got to see some some of that showcase here. The animation looks different than it did in season one. It doesn't look as polished, honestly. I mean, and it's not not to say it looks bad. It's not bad. It's just not as polished as it was in season one. I do recall reading um, some somewhere where they um, they may have changed um, animation studios, um, so so that might be that might be the, the reason for it. Um, I do miss I, I don't know as I said it, it just looked a lot cleaner in in season one it looked a lot cleaner the 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 fighting the animation just looked cleaner and here it it looks a bit blurrier in in places and uh, you're just seeing you're not seeing clearly defined movements in the, in, the, um, in the battle scenes here. But um, that's really my only grab because I'm still excited to see, um, to, to finally get some action back. And we know once once action starts, there's, um, it, it, it's never going to end. So I'm looking forward to the rest of the season and see what happens. And finally, the matchup between um, Garo and Saitama. Can't wait for that as well. All right, so be sure to post down in the comments let me know what your thoughts are on this episode and what you are, which uh, which battle are you looking forward to the most? They showed us um, a glimpse of the, at least in the opening theme, they showed the opening, they showed that, um, uh, an image of a, a, a beast, which could probably just be a generic beast of some sort because they, um, I mean, 
One Punch Man is known for doing that, um, all these unique looking creatures, but he looked like the, the, it, it could be the final threat that they were expecting. Be sure to hit like or subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.